okay welcome 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 once again um i want to use um this opportunity to um officially um make you see reasons why you should stay on board this personal bonding journey right i am at this what we need the stepped up nurse and i am your trainer for this program right like you have seen um already like you have witnessed already right so if you have onboarded this um, training i want you to take this video into the rest of your future i want it to be something you will continue to consider even when you want to give up because trust me giving up is always an option when the going gets difficult when the going gets um tedious when it becomes laborious when it becomes difficult, right? When it becomes hard to run. Yeah. Now, I want to, in this video, talk about the advantages of building your personal brand, right? And I'm going to be speaking from my wealth of experience, right? As a brand owner, right? I run Pregnancy Support Foundation and I run Stepped Up Global Consults, under which there are three subsidiaries. Possibly you already know them, right? Now, my branding journey has not been an easy one, but I can tell you that it's been a fulfilling one. It's one that I don't regret. It's one that I don't, I don't particularly um say, oh, had I known I shouldn't have started. It has never happened. It's been from one good testimonial to another good testimonial, right? So I'm going to state a few advantages, and I hope that this will, this will be your story in the next one two three four years right trust me when you begin to build your brand and begin to give actively into what you are building this story these advantages we will will also be yours to share you would experience this reality right so please i want you to pay rapt attention to everything i'm going to say Please do well to also document everything you are going to be listening to. Because if you don't document, you may not want to really come back to this video and watch all over again from the beginning. Right? So please, make sure you get a book and name it Personal Branding. Right? Now. And then, anything that, is, that has to do with your brand, you write it in that book. Because it's just the best there's no story around it like oh is it something i should think about is it something i should do should i obey what she said or, sh or should i negotiate it it's not negotiable get a book when that book is full get another book that's the idea because there will always be a lot to write the word of god says write a vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that we did it so if that is said in the bible then it means that Writing is something that is good, something that we should do, right? Now, let's go into the advantages. Why should you? What are the benefits of building your personal brand? Number one, it makes you to be more impactful. There is no how you'll be building your personal brand that you will not make more impact in the lives of people because you will want to speak, you want to write, you want to share. And in the process of sharing your knowledge, you have made impact in the lives of people, right? Number two, it makes you to be more influential, right? It makes you to be more influential. Influence in the sense that you can influence, you can make people do the right things. Your actions can influence people to carry out certain actions. Just the way a mother will do some things and the daughter will, will want to copy her, right? You've influenced, like when they say you have, you are the one that influenced that negatively. You didn't particularly tell her. To do that thing but because she has seen you do it she has influenced by the grace of god i've been able to influence a lot of people so she has also been influenced by you watching you do those things and trust me i the one reason why i decided to stay as a trainer of people that will be building their brand is because there are a lot of people that are trainers out there but they are not doing the right thing they are training people but they are not imputing values strong value systems like work ethic a lot of people have brands but they don't have ethics right they don't have values they don't have stringent things they stand for they just do their things 
anyhow they want to do it which is not the best right i believe we both know it's not the best so when you are building your brand and you want to stand for something that is wonderful then you have to do things the the, the right way right you need to go about your things in in a proper way right so that is why i said okay it's better i stay on this journey so that i can influence people positively because the more people see you the more they want it doesn't mean i'm perfect it doesn't mean i will not make mistakes it doesn't mean everything about me is 100 percent angelic even angels do crazy things right you know angels came from heaven to come and marry the sons of men and sleep with them and have children with them so it does not mean that i'm perfect it doesn't mean you are perfect so please don't be afraid of putting yourself out there and saying oh people will be looking at me now People will be saying that, ah, who do I think I am? Who do you, who do you think you are that you want to be building a brand? Where are you coming from? And eh, you, 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 this small girl of yesterday that when you, when you were in our class, you were nothing. You didn't know anything. You were very stupid. You were always the last in the class. Like, really? Do you understand? Some of your family members will come to you and say, what is this you are doing? You too, you want to be like all the social media people. Now, the question is, if there are people on you know, social media that are doing things that are not cool, you that have the knowledge, why don't you build a brand around something good, something emulatable, something, something people want to associate with? If people are opening their bodies, opening their breasts, opening their bum bum and building a brand around it, if people are saying rubbish, just plain nonsense, and they are building strong brands out of it, and people are f following them, having followers. Then, what stops you that have great knowledge to share from building your brand, right? So it's it just makes sense that you should use that opportunity wisely. If you are blessed and you know how to use words, you know how to talk, then it's it's not out of place if you build a brand around it. Trust me, branding. Is something that can never be eradicated. It will never go out of fashion. It will. There won't be a year where they will say, "Ah, personal branding has ended," or corporate branding or business branding has ended. And the base of your corporate branding or the base of your business branding is your personal brand because people will see you first before they see your business. Sometimes they may see your business first and they may not care who is X Y Z company. What, what concerns me with XRZ company? But trust me, if people get to meet the CEO of that company and they fall in love with you, anything you sell to them, they will want to buy because they love you. I believe we all know what I mean by that. A lot of people buy into ideas because they love the bringer of the idea. Because you love the convener, you want to stay in the community. Not because the community is all good and all flimsy and all perfect, but because you love the convener, you love her values, you love her systems, you like the way she carries people along. Okay, it's okay. Let me just stay because of her. Because if not for her, I would have left. Yes, you have begun to influence people. Right now, for your own self, your building your personal brand will attract to you income. Right, people will not pay you if you don't build your brand. If you don't show them your skills, show them what you uh, you can bring to the table. Right, a lot of people are looking for you, but they will not see you if you are not building a brand. Many people, since I got started building my brand on LinkedIn, a lot of opportunities have been attracted to my way because I'm putting out content out there. You know, oh wow, so there's. A lot of people have told me I've never met a nurse like you. I've had bad experiences with nurses, but you have changed everything. There is nothing like that. There is nothing. Apart from salvation and the birth of my children and my marriage, there's nothing as fantastic as fantastic as hearing something like that from people saying that, oh, oh I, I, I didn't have the best notion about nurses before, but now seeing your post, seeing what you put out there, seeing what you stand for. Somebody that is far, far older than me, right? She has kids, she's married, she's, she's well-to-do. Came to me and said, when I was having my children, I had bad experiences with nurses, but meeting you has changed everything. There's nothing like that, that kind of sentence being said, being written. I've received voice notes upon voice notes upon voice notes of people praying for me. 
blessing me, thanking me. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. My God, we bless you. My God, we bless you. My God, we bless you. Like, I'm thankful to God for that because if God did not give me ideas, I would not be out there. If God did not give me ideas, I won't be able to be writing and writing and writing creatively enough to evoke emotions, enough to make people take actions. So, please, whatever I tell you to do in this training, please take it seriously because it's a means to an end. It's a building phase. It's your building blocks. Now, many of you in this program you even know what i want to say already you may even say oh i even already know everything but trust me there's nothing like having a coach with you just understand that you're accountable to that's looking at your processes that's looking everything that's making sure that you don't get tired and then when you tired when you're tired when you remember you say oh if i give up now this no so will just come and be disturbing me she will just come and be saying what have you been doing with your brand okay let me do something okay let me do something so it's worth it, right? It's worth every penny you pay. Because I'll be giving you most of my my coaches, people that have taken this training, have been coming back to me from for different information or the other, different follow-up um, questions, 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 advice, mentorship. I I have um, it in structure that is six months mentorship I'll give after you take this coaching course because some people have been on two years mentorship <laughs> so <laughs> it happens right and i will not push you away right except except the situation is toxic that's when i'll say okay and i don't even think even the relationships that went toxic will find a way to reconcile ourselves and get back on track and everything has gone smoothly why i want to make heaven so i will not because of a coaching program miss heaven Right, so that said, what did I just say? It helps you, it attracts opportunities to you, it attracts gigs to you, it attracts to you, oh, it attracts to you extra income. So people will pay you for your service if you build your brand. Why? Because in the process of building your personal brand, you put yourself out there, and people will know what you're doing. Do you understand? People will know the quality of what you're doing because a lot of people are doing what you're doing, but are they doing it with the same quality? Are they doing it with the same zeal, with the same enthusiasm, with the same beauty, with the same, with the same, you know, courage, with the same charisma? Are they doing it with the same value system, right? Are they doing it with authenticity? Are they doing it perfectly? Are they doing it properly, right? So if you don't show people that you are the best, because it is in the in the branding that you show people that okay, I'm the best at this thing. There are a lot of nurses out there, but. I know what I'm doing. Like I, 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 I don't. You don't even need necessarily have to be more intelligent than that person. But your delivery may be different, right? So you should have a cutting edge. You should have, a, you, should, you should have a selling point, right? That will make people come to you. And it's personal branding that makes people see that selling point. You may look ugly. You may look unfantastic. You may look. But when when you open your mouth to talk, if you speak life. You're building a massive, beautiful brand, and it's a step at a time. Small here, small there. Little here, little there. This here, little there. You do this, you do that. Every day, every week. Week in, week out. Day in, day out. Month in, month out. Year in, year out. Before you know, boom. And it's, it's, I see it as a structure for your business brand because I have businesses, but my personal brand pushes my businesses. Do you understand? I run a lot of things online, right? I have an NGO. My personal brand pushes my NGO, right? So if you want to start an NGO now, your NGO will have its name. Do you understand? Your personal brand is your personal brand. Your personal brand can be your name. It can be Adeswa Oni, right? Everybody knows Adeswa Oni, Adeswa Oni. And you can give yourself a special name. Maybe carved out of your name or just a name that you love to be associated with you. So people know me as the stepped up nurse. Right, I have a lot of communities, right? Some people call me mega woman, right? Yeah. So the issue is be known for something. Do you understand? Don't be everywhere. One thing that personal branding helps you achieve is for you to have a focus. Not that you're everywhere. You are you are carpenter, you are plumber, you are teacher, you are this one, you are that one. Everything I do is surrounding coaching and mentorship. Training people, training people, training people. Do you understand? So the idea is that 
it makes you a more impactful person, makes you a more influential person, makes you attract extra income, it makes you attract to you gigs and opportunities, right? Now, you get, I've, I don't know the number of awards I've gotten already because I've been building my personal brand, right? Yeah, lots of awards because I've been doing work, because work follows reward work for us reward if you don't do anything you will not get awards if you don't put yourself out there to write do you understand write blog posts write articles write posts write um content do you understand because magazines will come to, to you like they did it from my first year of branding magazine organizations have been reaching out to me i got my first job on linkedin within six months of building my brand he reached out to me to come and take a job to 50,000 per month. And I said, I don't want because I, I said, I cannot leave my family, my job. Because if I estimate it well, my present job is still paying more than that to 50. If I really want to estimate it with the living costs and everything, right? So, what I'm basically saying is that that's, those are not the only opportunities. If you read my book, Personal Branding Benefits, there are about, I think, 10 or 12 of them that I listed those benefits of personal branding but i decided to do this video so that you can see my face and really see that i'm serious about these things right yeah so thank you so much i don't want this video to be too long right i hope you will always remember this one last thing i want to add it becomes a legacy if you build your personal brand your children will reap from it Yes, your children will reap from it. If your family members will reap from it. In the future, people will be saying, ah, that's the daughter. You don't know the stepped up nurse. That's her daughter. This one, this one. Let me help her. I you know how the stepped up nurse helped me. By God's grace, I've been able to connect people to help. Even when I cannot help, I've been able to connect people to help. To, I've been able to connect people to systems that have helped them. So if you, as you are building your brand, you'll be discovering systems that are helpful to people. And in that process, you have become a solution provider to people. You become, as in, you become a way forward. Like when people are stuck and they come to you, they've gotten a way forward. They've gotten progress. And that's one of the powerfulness of building your personal brand. Please always remember this and take this with you into the future as you build your brand. Cheers to the eight weeks we are going to be spending together. Please don't back out and never forget that. Your personal brand can be your retirement plan. So please don't throw it away and don't plan to throw it away. Have a massive, massive time with me for the next eight weeks.